to are you an elbow entertainment so guys as you know Africa is so blessed with several natural resources and human resources especially in entertainment we have the music the art the filming industry but today let's talk about African literature actually when I was growing up I was told that if you want to hide something from a black person put it in a book I don't know how true that is but like I know a lot of people don't read so guys today I'll be telling you African literatures that you have to read to learn about Africa and now it's the quarantine period like there's not so much movement and travels and I think this is the best time to actually adopt the hobby and habit of reading so guys check out this African literatures that you have to read to learn about Africa don't forget to hit the subscribe button below now let's check it out so guys let me tell you about the first recommendation I personally love this book so much that I actually read it two times it's by a Nigerian author he's called Chino Achebe I don't know maybe you've heard of him before and he wrote this book things fall apart this book is amazing like I love it because it really talks about the Igbo tribe and culture which is a tribe in Nigeria and it talks about their yam festival their polytheistic nature he talks about how the colonial rule colonialism influenced their culture and he talked about the yam festival which is also an important festival in the Igbo culture so I really really love this book like it's amazing and it's so good that it actually sold over 20 million copies and I think you can actually find this book in your own language because it was translated to about 57 different languages and yeah I really really recommend you to read this book I read it when I was in high school for the first time and the cover looked something like this <laughs> actually all the books I'll be recommending to you you can find them on the internet I'll be writing the whole list in the description box below so that you can see it and just type it on Google and you can buy it online or you can download the PDF and don't forget to wait till the end of this video because I'll actually be given a bonus recommendation and I think everyone would love this book that I'm about to recommend it's amazing i personally love that book also so stay till the end the next book on the list is um, a grain of wheat by ngugi watyongo he is a kenyan writer and he was talking about how kenyans struggle for their independence you know independence and colonialism is a part of african history and that's why I really love this book because it talked about the events that took place before and on the day of independence and how Kenyans fought for their independence from British rule so that's why I really love this book and another book that I would highly recommend you to read is women of Algiers in the apartment by Asia Jember actually that is just her pen name her real name is Fatima Zora Imalien and this Algerian writer was explaining the struggles of Algerian women pre-colonial and post-colonial times like a contrast and she was explaining how Algerian women felt that they were liberated from colonialism just for them to have their women rights stripped from them after colonialism so as a feminist I really love this book also and all the way from Somalia there is another book called from a crooked rib by Nuruddin Farah he's a Somali novelist and he wrote this book when he was still studying in India he was studying philosophy literature and sociology and he also talks about struggles of women in fact when he sent this book in to the publisher the publisher thought he was a woman because he really explained the struggles of women in the Somali community using the narrative of a young woman 
that was trapped in an unhappy marriage. And the title of his book comes from the Somali proverb that God created women from a crooked rib and anyone who tries to straighten it breaks it. Guys, before I tell you about the next recommended book, there's something I would like to point out. Like, I think it's high time we support black-owned businesses more and also support African writers because really, it's not easy to be creative. As a YouTuber, I know how difficult it is to be creative. You want to make content and things like that. So guys, really, let's try to support our African writers and there are several ways we can do this by buying their books we can follow them on social media and comment on their posts and we can also like recommend their books to other people and read all the books that they also produce these are just little ways to support them and also you can support us by clicking the subscribe button below <laughs> thank you guys so the next on the list is Burger's Daughter. It's written by a South African writer. She's also a political activist. Her name is Nardine Gordima and she's always been fighting against appetite. And in this book, she talks about the struggles of a group of anti-appetite activists. And as an anti-appetite activist, she has faced several racial issues and she writes all about this in this book and for those that want to learn more about the appetite guys stay until the end my bonus recommendation is something about that another book i can recommend about that is born a crime by trevor noah that one actually contains a lot of humor and comedy he talks about the appetite period and what it's like being born to mixed parents but in a very funny way i really love that book also and next on our list is for those that are interested in learning about Africa's economy. This book is called Know the Beginning Well by a Ghanaian writer. He was also the former executive secretary of the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa. And he wrote this book offering an insight on Africa's development journey in five decades. And he explains his personal experience of some landmark people, institutions, and policies that have shaped Africa's post-colonial history. And next we have Purple Habiscus by Chimamanda Ngozi. I also love this lady. She's amazing and her books are amazing. And she has several TED Talks also. You should check out this TED Talk I watched on YouTube. It's... Um, the danger of a single story you should check out that TED talk but the book that I'm recommending is called purple hibiscus and it's amazing and I think you'd love it also she's a Nigerian writer by the way last but not the least on our list is the bonus recommendation by our father Nelson Mandela yes he wrote a book this book is like an autobiography it's called long walk of freedom for those that don't know Nelson Mandela he's a South African activist and he was the former president of South Africa although he's late now so he was really against appetite and he fought against appetite also and in this book he talks about his early life adulthood getting education and 24 years spent in prison so i really recommend this book for those that want to learn more about his life to actually read this book guys i hope you love the recommendations welcome back friends we hope you enjoyed this video so have you read any of these books let us know in the comment section below and are there all the African writers that we need to know that did not make it to this list? Let us also know in the comment section below. Guys, how is your week going and how is the quarantine period going? Let us know all this in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below, like this video and share it with all your friends. Have a great week friends and peace out.